Welcome to a demonstration on how to record general journal transactions in Sage Simply Accounting. This presentation is presented by iaccountingtraining.com and its sister site simplytraining.ca. We will demonstrate how to access and record general journal transactions. You will learn how to access the general journal window and enter and record general journal transactions. We will demonstrate transactions such as bank account entries, expenses, and adjustments. Now let's go to the Sage Simply Accounting program. In Simply Accounting, with the company page selected, under the Accountants task is where you'll find the General Journal icon. Click on the icon and open the General Journal window. In the window, we will complete the fields from left to right and then complete the columns below. The first example is a demonstration on how to record funds deposited of opening a new bank account by a business owner. In the source field, enter a source number or relevant information of the entry. Let's type deposit. Over to the date field, select the date of the deposit. Next, in the Comments field, provide details of the transaction. And this is to open the bank account and funded by owner. Now let's move to the column selection below. In the Account column on the first line, click the Select button to select an account. We will select account 1010 from the chart of accounts, checking bank account. To increase the checking account balance, we will debit the account the amount of the deposit, which is $10,000. In the le next line in the accounts column, let's select owner's contributions. We're going to click the select button to open up the select account window. In the search field, we can select and enter the account number for on owner's contributions. Notice as soon as we select the account, Simply Accounting will automatically move to the credit column or the next column and enter in the amount of $10,000. The journal entry transaction is now complete. We are increasing the bank account and the funds are coming from owner's contributions. Notice at the bottom of the window the debits and credits do balance. Let's record the transaction by selecting the post button in the bottom right hand corner of the window. If you have the transaction confirmation feature turned on, you will see the window that this transaction has been posted successfully and it will display the journal entry number. Select OK to close the window. The next example is how to record an adjustment for the monthly prepaid insurance expense. In the source column, let's type adjust. Over to the date field, select the date of the adjustment. In the comments field, provide the transaction details. And this is to record monthly insurance adjustment. Now in the columns below, in the account column, select the account using the search field in the select window. Notice as soon as we start to type in the account number that Simply Accounting will automatically begin to scroll to find that particular account number. This is for insurance, so we will click the Select button and we will enter debit of $100. In the next column below, again, let's click the Select Accounts window, type in the account number and in the select account window you can see it has selected account 1320 prepaid expenses. Again review the transactions, the debits and credits and select post to record the transaction. 
The last example is how to record an expense of a pre-authorized bank withdrawal that includes sales taxes. In the source field, let's type PAP. PAP is short for pre-authorized payment. Next, select the date of the transaction of when it was withdrawn from the bank. In the comment field, let's type in monthly computer lease. In this example, we will type the accounts numbers instead of using the select account window. First account to be um, identified is the bank account. And bank account, when you decrease it, it will be a credit. In the next line down in the account column, let's type in the computer expense amount and we will debit that account by $150. In the next line, we are going to separate out the taxes that are included in the $169.50, which is HST, which is $19.50. When entering transactions that include sales taxes, we need to select the sales tax button at the bottom of the window. In the sales tax window, we will need to select the transaction type and also the tax code. This example, the transaction type is a per purchase and the tax code, we're going to select the tax code button and select that it is HST. When you have finished that selection, click OK and you will notice the sales tax button will have a blue check mark confirming that you have allocated the sales taxes to a tax code. By completing the sales tax information, this will ensure correct reporting information when using tax reports from Simply Accounting. Let's review the transaction and click Post to record the transaction. This concludes the presentation on how to record general journal transactions in Sage Simply Accounting. We hope this video has provided you with relevant how-to information. Please take the time to visit our website iaccountingtraining.com or simplytraining.ca for information on complete courses on the Sage Simply Accounting program and other relevant accounting training. Thank you and take care.